Speaking out against Israel's ground offensive in southern Lebanon, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan claimed on Tuesday that Israel would set its sights on Turkey next. In a speech marking the opening of parliament following its summer recess, Erdogan criticized both the international community and the Islamic world for failing to stop Israeli operations in Gaza and Lebanon. He vowed to stand strong against Israel and to support Lebanon. The Netanyahu government is dreaming a crude dream that includes Anatolia, Erdogan claimed, referring to a large swathe of Turkey. The place that the Israeli administration will set its sights on after Palestine and Lebanon, with complete religious fanaticism, will be our homeland, he added. No matter what the cost, Turkey will continue to stand against Israel and call on the world to join this honorable stance, he said. Vaad edilmiş topraklar hezeyanıyla hareket eden İsrail yönetiminin tamamen dini bir fanatizm ile Filistin ve Lübnan'dan sonra gözünü dikeceği yer açık söylüyorum. Bizim vatan topraklarımız olacaktır. Karşımızda tüm bölgeyi ateşe atmaya niyetli Netanyahu hükümeti Anadolu'yu da içine alan bir ham hayal kurmakta, Ütopya peşinde koşmakta, bu niyetlerini de çeşitli vesilelerle ifşa etmektedir. Bedeli her ne olursa olsun, Türkiye, İsrail'in karşısında durmaya, dünyayı da bu onurlu duruşa çağırmaya devam edecek. Biz Türkiye ve Türk milleti olarak bu zor günlerinde Lübnanlı kardeşlerimizi asla yalnız bırakmayacak tüm imkanlarımızla kendilerini destekleyeceğiz. South Korea celebrated its 76th Armed Forces Day with a military parade through the streets of Seoul, the capital as part of efforts to boost military morale and demonstrate its deterrence capabilities against potential North Korean aggression. South Korean soldiers paraded with thousands of spectators watching from the sidelines. After the parade, South Korean President Yoon suk Yeol promised the government would do its best to improve the support and welfare of military personnel. As your commander-in-chief, I have infinite faith in our soldiers, and I will cheer for you along with the South Korean people," he added. The South Korean military also displayed about 340 pieces of military equipment and weapon systems. Among them was its most powerful Hyunmu-5 ballistic missile, which observers say is capable of carrying an 8-ton conventional warhead that can penetrate deep into the earth and destroy underground bunkers in North Korea. It was the first time South Korea disclosed the missile. Also on Tuesday, South Korea launched its strategic command, which officials say integrates South Korea's conventional capabilities with U.S. nuclear weapons. South Korea has no nuclear weapons. Since taking office in 2022, Yoon, a conservative, has put a stronger military alliance with the U.S. and improved trilateral Seoul-Washington-Tokyo security cooperation at the center of his security policies to cope with North Korea's advancing nuclear program.
여러분께서 노력하시는 만큼 국가가 충분히 뒷받침할 수 있도록 지원과 처우에 최선을 다할 것입니다. 국군 통수권자로서 국군 장병 여러분을 무한히 신뢰하며 국민과 함께 힘껏 응원하겠습니다.